All right, so I'm gonna talk to you all about setting up my poncho liner, uh, my lean-to. This is how I like to sleep when I'm on the road, and uh, I get a lot of questions about it, so I thought I'd do a quick how-to video to use a poncho liner as your sleeping cover. All right, so we're gonna go over the uh, list of materials you need for the poncho liner lean-to. First thing you're gonna need is just some good stakes. Uh, you can use the, the aluminum ones, which I tend to bend when I'm on hard rocks and things like that or just a regular old steak. So, second thing you're gonna need is your poncho liner. These are military issued poncho liners. You can get them at any uh, military supply store. Uh, mine were gifted to me by a friend uh, who unfortunately has passed away on this trip. Abram Baxter, I love you to death. This is something that uh, is pretty much waterproof. I do get a little bit of leakage on me. For the most part, uh, it keeps the dew off of you, which is the important thing. So a good solid poncho liner. I carry two of them. There's two poncho liners rolled up in here. So since I have two poncho liners, uh, typically what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this one down first as my base. This is what's going to keep me between me and the ground. This is what I'm going to lay on. Now I can open this up again, another fold, and get underneath it uh, almost like a sleeping bag if I wanted to. But the next thing I'm going to do is take my second poncho liner. And I prefer to do it the long ways. So I'll take the uh, long way of the poncho liner out, the width of the poncho liner across the bike. Okay, it's as simple as it sounds. Uh, you're just simply gonna tie this poncho liner off with the strings that are already attached to the corners. They're attached all the way around the liner. You're just gonna tie it off to your bike. Um, anywhere you can find the tie, it's good. I prefer to do it on a bungee cord. That way I can stretch it and pull it where I need to. So I'm just gonna go right here to this bungee cord. The important thing here is, is that the long side is out. Two reasons. When you see these guys and they got this stuff wrapped all around their bike, that's because they did the long side against their bike and it was too long. This is about the perfect length. I can pull it on that bungee cord, move it where I want to move it, and I'm going to tie it off right up here to this light. And I've got my second anchor point. Okay, so the third one I'm actually going to tie to the zipper of my magnetic tank bag. Uh, it doesn't need to take a lot of pressure, but it just takes the slack off, keeps it taunt, keeps anything from coming in on you. All right, now we're ready to stake. I'm gonna use three stakes, same as I did up top, one adjacent from each one. All around this poncho liner, these are these loops that I told you about. I've already got this one tied in a knot, ready for a stake. So I just slide my stake in. I'm gonna angle it out and down. Then I'm gonna to go to the opposite corner. I'm gonna pull and stake it. The third one, this is where you're gonna pull up your slack. Pull that out, see how it lifts up? A couple things. You can set up an air mattress. I use this military uh, air mattress that I got from a buddy of mine down in Texas. Um, I, it quick blows up, I throw it underneath there, it gives me some cushion from the rocks or any hard ground. Uh, you can use a sleeping bag or you can just cover up with that poncho liner. Come on in, let's take a look. Inside here I've got good cover uh, from all the elements to do, things like that. One thing I really like about the poncho liner is the fact that I just roll it up and I stick it on top of my bike and it dries with the wind couple other key points when you're building this thing always go off the high side of the bike you see how my bikes tilted like this you want to go off that high side I see a lot of guys building their lean-tos off the low side if it rains or if I get any dew or any heavy liquid it's gonna come down land on my bike and roll away from me if I'm built off the low side that water is gonna be rolling right into me not what you want when you're trying to live on the road uh, another really cool thing is is I have mine wired with power I can use these footrests as, as uh, tabletops plug in my phone, plug in my laptop, and uh, you've got yourself a mobile office. So when it comes to uh, living on the road and moving daily, this is my poncho liner lean-to. It's the way we here at Scoot America prefer to travel. 